one of the most urgent areas of concern in the Bay Area right now, and it is here. It is actually along the front lines of the SCU complex, specifically the area in yellow. You can see there the western edge. It's near Morgan Hill and Gilroy. Evacuation warnings are in effect there. There are also warnings along the fire's northern edge, and that's pushing up here well into Alameda County. Uh, we have been working behind the scenes and collaborating with our local government fire chief partners, law enforcement, to essentially pick up, hire, staff as many engines, volunteer companies, any equipment that's out there in these operational areas that we can staff appropriately and get after these fires that are coming in potentially with this lightning strike. KPIX 5's Devin Feely on what crews are doing right now to prepare for the weather and to get people safely out of its way. Describing the weather pattern and the wind as unpredictable, CAL FIRE has now issued an expanded evacuation warning to residents who may have previously assumed that their homes were safe. In terms of sheer size, it's the largest of the series of fires burning throughout the Bay Area, having blackened more than 330,000 acres in the foothills east and north of San Jose. But there's growing concern that a dramatic change in the weather may shift the direction of the blaze, once again threatening homes previously thought to be safe. Extreme level of concern, uh, hearing about the recent uh, potential for lightning and different strikes that happen, uh, what precautions we've taken, uh, just kind of doing a wait and see and watching. CAL FIRE has issued expanded evacuation warnings urging people in cities like Milpitas, Fremont and Livermore to be ready to leave if necessary. It's, it's extremely concerning um, health wise for people with asthma, especially people that live in the foothills. Despite the hundreds of thousands of acres burned by this series of fires, so far the amount of actual property damage has been relatively small. An estimated five homes and other buildings have been burned or destroyed. Cal Fire would like to keep those numbers from rising, but recognizes that they are, to a degree, at the mercy of Mother Nature. These things are Mother Nature, so you kind of got to roll with the punches, right? Part of the challenge of this weather pattern is that it will be moving through the Bay Area overnight and Cal Fire says the best advice is to make your preparations now so that you're ready to act later. In Alameda County, Devin Feely, KPIX 5. Santa Clara evacuees can head to one of three evacuation centers at the Quinlan Community Center in Cupertino, the Milpitas Library, or Ann Sobrato High School in Morgan Hill.